investigation of such national importance. Joining us now is Congressman Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on House Intelligence. Congressman, thanks for joining us. I know this is a big and important night. Uh, thanks, Rachel. Good to be with you. So I was I was struck by this this rocket that you fired off tonight to your Republican counterparts on House Intel. Uh, you say history will judge their actions harshly. Um, how surprised, how blindsided were you by by them announcing this thing is over as of today? Well, not uh, not completely surprised, uh, only in the timing of it being today. Uh, they have signaled really for weeks now that they were under immense pressure to end the investigation. Uh, and uh, it became apparent really from very early on, uh, from almost a year ago with that midnight run to the White House, that the Republicans on the committee viewed their job as protecting the president, not investigating what took place. Uh, and so they would call in witnesses, uh, I think, to go through the motions of doing a credible investigation and ask them questions like, did you collude with the Russians? Did you conspire with the Russians? And if they, the answer was no, they were content to leave it at that. Uh, they were not willing to subpoena the records that would prove or disprove what witnesses were saying. When witnesses like Steve Bannon would stonewall us, uh, they would beat their chest uh, and say, well, we can't conduct an investigation this way and need to get answers. And then they would f refuse to fall through to get answers. So not a surprise, Rachel, but a grave disservice to the country. Uh, essentially, it's the intelligence committee majority saying we just rather not know uh, mm -hmm. if it's going to be bad news uh, and that is uh, i think a, a betrayal of the promise that was made that we would follow the facts wherever they lead i was struck by the way that you closed your statement um, on this tonight you suggested that uh, in coming weeks and months new information will continue to come out about this scandal um, whether it's from journalists or from the special counsel's indictments but you it could, some of that new information could come out through continued investigative work by committee Democrats. Uh, that suggests that you are not stopping your work, even if the Republicans on the committee have. Uh, that's right. Uh, we're going to continue to do the investigation. Uh, it'll obviously be much more difficult. We've never had the power to call in witnesses, uh, but we've learned a great deal when the majority would. At the same time, there are others that come forward to the committee and come to committee Democrats with information. Uh, and we'll continue to put pieces together as we learn things publicly through investigative journalism, through the work of Bob Mueller, through the indictments. Uh, we learned some additional granular detail in the last indictment, for example. Uh, but I, what I mean uh, by holding the Republicans to account is there'll be revelations as there was just within the last week that witnesses that have come before our committee, like Eric Prince, may not have been fully truthful. Uh, there's a witness who has come forward that has been reported, uh, George Nader, uh, that said that this was an effort, at least reportedly, to establish a back channel with Russia. That's part of the core of our investigation to see if that was going on. And the Republicans will have to answer why they're not interested in finding out, is Eric Prince telling the truth or is George Nader? Um, we should get to the bottom of this and we'll continue pressing them. And in the days to come, Rachel, we intend to uh, demonstrate all of the investigative leads that need to be followed, the witnesses that should have been called, the documents that should have been produced, in the hope that it will guide journalists, uh, it will guide our colleagues in the Senate, uh, and may even be of assistance to Bob Mueller. Congressman, let me ask you a, a, a big hypothetical. Um, I'm thinking about this in part because there's an important and high-profile uh, congressional special election in the 18th district in Pennsylvania tomorrow. It was a Trump plus 20 district. Democrats think they may have a shot at taking that, dist that, that seat tomorrow, even though Trump won it by 20 points in November 2016. If the Democrats, if your party does have a big night, November and does take back the House, that would make you, that would put you in line to be the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee under a Democratic Speaker of the House. Would you expect that in that circumstance that you would reopen this investigation, that you would do it the way that you think it ought to have been done in the first place? What I'd expect is that we will look at the work that's been done. Uh, if the work has been done by the Senate Intelligence Committee or by uh, Special Counsel Bob Mueller and we've done a full investigation, that may not be necessary. And if it hasn't, then we'll have to evaluate what work there remains to be done to protect the country. You know, one issue that concerns me, Rachel, for example, is that we were not allowed to investigate whether the leverage the Russians have over this president is money laundering, whether the Russians did hear what they have done elsewhere in laundering money through the Trump organization. 
The Senate is not investigating that either. Now, I hope that Bob Mueller is. Hmm. But should issues like that that expose the, the country uh, to uh, leverage or, or over the President of the United States um, not go investigated, then we would uh, need to. Now, and I want to say one other thing that uh, really stands out to me about this uh, sad chapter um, in our committee, and that is I think many of us could see that Donald Trump was going to be a very poor president. What we couldn't see is how many people would be complicit uh, in that, how many people would be willing to resign their obligations under the Constitution and our system of checks and balances in the service of that deeply flawed president. Uh, our Constitution is only as good as the people who uphold it, uh, and by shutting down this investigation, uh, it shows that the people upholding it are really not living up to their responsibility. Congressman Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the Intelligence Committee in the House, uh, where the Russia investigation has just been shut down by the Republican majority. Uh, sir, thank you very much.